just going to check out the set for compliance very important in these day and age to be socially distanced from one another two meters or one reindeer away from each other so we have okay we can have the stars to the set now please the stars to the set everything is safe and secure although the hot chocolates are very very warm so do be careful on those it's christmas eve at last we've been counting down for ages well done for making it proud of you welcome to the st mark's christmas eve spectacular here are becky and i your two favorite elves looking forward to a little afternoon of fun with you we've got some lights we've got a christmas tree we've got some spingly spangly things we've got a man doing some building in the background you might be able to hear i think he might be building a landing pad for santa who knows <laughs> we've got a load of fun coming up what have we got coming we up have, Becky? we've got um, a christmas craft that we're going to do together we've got some christmas videos we've got a christmas challenge between paul and i that we need you to guess the winner of Lovely we've mate. got loads of fun stuff coming up and it all kicks off with this game. been asking you to send in your Christmassy scene photos um, for the last month or so. So all of you kids have sent us a whole bunch of creative photos that you've taken um, with your Christmas jumpers and Christmas trees and all sorts. And so we've got a little bit of a montage of all of those photos so you can see everybody else's entry and we're going to reveal the winner of that photo challenge. Montage, that's a very good word. I like montage. that. Montage. <laughs> Here's the montage. <laughs> Where's my money in the stocking under the tree? Hand me downs passed on like Parker to Ginobili. Baskets asking, barely got food in my mouth, but I'm rapping. Lost so many family, don't need these gifts. I'm rapping, can't believe we here in these minutes. Lord have mercy when we acting ignorant. Thankful for forgiveness, it's the holidays. Lift up your spirits. The best part is snowfall and spending time with your children. Mm. Ready to eat with the fam, like. No, my boys won't win like mm, Who invited them to come by like mm, Count down the days like mm, It's the holidays, holidays Black joy on my face It's the holidays, holidays Thankful for the season It's the holidays It's time for the holiday. holidays Can't believe we made it through the May it's been a long year coming That's right. Better bring a gift and the right attitude if you come It's the holidays It's time for the holiday. holidays Can't believe we made it through the May It's been a long year coming yeah. Better bring a gift and the right attitude if you come Mixed 
feelings like a mixed drink. Wear your mask, stay six feet. I wanna be social, rise to the total. Black lives matter, not when you vocal. Holiday parties, not at the office. Secret Santa, buy with caution. Shop in person, probably not. Get the deal on group pine. Ha. Wait a minute, ain't got no coins saved. Use the stimulus to get the bills paid. Logged on the Zoom to keep myself safe. This my first holiday with my bae, hey. Holiday looking cray, ain't the same. Gotta keep the faith, gotta keep the faith, hey. I'ma try to decorate, decorate. Not about the gifts, but the day he made, like, mm. Ready to cut up with my fan life, mm. You know I'm saving me a plate, like, mm. Who getting on them dishes, like, mm. Count down the days, like, it's the holidays, holidays. Black joy on my face. It's the holidays, holidays. Thank you for the season. It's the holidays. It's time for the holiday. Holiday. Can't believe we made it through the May. We made it through. It's been a And so that youth aren't left out, we've also got a montage of photos from youth um, from our Christmas social, um, so let's watch that as well. You waited all year for a montage and then two came at once, what are the odds of that?
make some little um, napkin Christmas trees. Um, so it should be quite easy to follow along with. All you'll need for this is um, some napkins. They can be plain ones or Christmassy ones. Um, and um, that's all you need. Um, and obviously your hands. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let me show you how to do it. So what you need to do is um, start off with your napkin um, so that the, the fold is like on your right hand side, so um, on the table in front of you. And then what you need to do is rotate that so that the open, um, open edge is in front of you. And then you basically take each layer and fold it up, leaving about a centimetre gap um, around the edge. If I show you what I'm doing here. Um, so you do that with each layer, um, leaving a bit of a gap every time. So, if I do that quickly and then show you, all done. So what you end up with is um, this kind of pattern like that. Um, and then you turn it over, so the folds that you've just done are on the bottom. And then you um, do a fold like that, and then do a fold like that so you've made it into like this kind of shape and then you turn it over and you can see all your little folds that you did in the first place and then one by one you kind of fold up the corners so we're folding them up and sort of tucking them under the flap above so you end up with something that resembles a little bit more Christmas tree <laughs> and lastly Tuck up that last one, and then you should be able to get your hand in underneath and do that. There you go. You can use a little paper clip if you need to to kind of secure it at the back, um, or you can just leave it like that. There you go. <laughs> that was fantastic, Becky. Uh, if you're not as posh as Becky is and you haven't got any napkins at home, then you can do what I've done. I just used some kitchen towel and I've made my own version there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it doesn't quite stand up. Never mind. All right. Uh, I think we've discovered that we're both pretty good at craft and we both like a challenge. So now we've got a challenge between Becky and I. You have to comment in the chat who you think is going to win. The challenge is this. The first person, you ready? Yep. To wrap 12 days of Christmas. No, 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 we're not gonna do a wrap. We're gonna wrap a so. bicycle helmet. First person to wrap a bicycle helmet has to be neat, has to be taped, has to look like a present you'd want to get at Christmas. Uh, put in the chat who you think's gonna win. Uh, are you ready, Becky? I'm ready. Bring it. Right, I've got my helmet, I've got my paper, I've brought with me. Um, my own sellotape reel and scissors, um, which is going to help me. Added um, part of the challenge is my hands are really cold. So. <laughs> right. Right, so for my challenge, I've got a bicycle helmet I nicked off the health and safety guy. Uh, I don't have a sellotape dispenser, but I do have some gaffer tape. I think that might be where Becky's going to go wrong on this challenge. And some extra large wrapping paper, two metre long wrapping paper that you can use to socially distance from people. Okay. Are you ready? Three, two, one, two, one. Go. go. Reindeer. Ah, I can't reach the end to cut this.
fuck. Right. Well, I think, uh, I mean, the results speak for themselves in many ways, I think, Becky. Um, some of you watching this will have appreciated the speed. Some of you will appreciate the neatness. I think, I think we're all winners, really. <laughs> the criteria was a gift that you'd like to receive. Yes. Okay. I think, Becky, <laughs> Becky, you, congratulations, Becky, you win. Ho, 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 well done. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a lady named Mar Mary. Mary was washing up. An angel called the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary. And told Mary, you're going to have a baby boy. His name will be Jesus. Wow, I can't believe it. Joseph was angry and then while he was sleeping, the angel Gabriel told him, Mary's going to have a baby, and baby Jesus is going to be the saviour of the world. Hooray! So, Mary and Joseph set off for Bethlehem. They didn't have a taxi, they just travelled with a donkey. It was a bumpy journey. Because they were travelling for a long time, they were thinking, oh, are we going to run out of food? There wouldn't be any shops. Bethlehem was full of visitors. There was no room anywhere. And all the houses were full. Um, there's no room. Uh, uh, not allowed. Sorry, I've used up all the space for these ten cats. Luckily, an innkeeper said you can sleep in the stable. You can stay in my stables with the animals. And the stable was warm and comfy. Horse! Cow! Pig! Smelly pig! Smelly pig! And that night the baby was born. They wrapped him in a blanket and laid him in a manger. It smells like hay. Meanwhile, in the fields there were some shepherds. There was a group of angels that were dancing and singing. I have good news, a new baby is being born. He will be the saviour of the world. They were amazed. They decided to go to the stable and go look at the baby. Come on, hurry up, forget your sheep. Okay. There were three wise men and they were looking at the stars. He saw the big star and said, we should follow that star because a new king is born. Wee hee! And then they followed it and they were so excited. And when all of the three kings got there, they all gave him presents. Toy aeroplane. Sports shoes. A keyboard. Buggy. New nappies. And the Ninja Turtle. Gold, Frankenstein, Ma, all the animals and the shepherds worshipped baby Jesus. They are celebrating the birth of the king. I am so proud of you. He would be a hero. Baby Jesus, we love you and you are the best thing that ever happened to you. We celebrate Jesus and, and all he's done for us. Thank you for being our friend. Thank you for coming to the world and thank you for being our saviour. Happy Christmas Day. So I come inside to leave Becky alone for a little bit. She wants to ring her mum and tell her that she just beat me in a competition. It's Christmas Eve, but you knew that already. And on Christmas Eve, I like to imagine the very first Christmas Eve, the day before Jesus arrives on 
the planet in Bethlehem. And I wonder about the angels and whether they had these conversations with each other, knowing that that night they're going to go to earth and they're going to sing songs in the sky, which they've never really done before. And whether they had all these discussions, like, is everything, is everything ready? ready? Well, yeah, well, everything's, yeah, everything's ready. ready. Have you done, Have a, you big done a big campaign? campaign? Are, there Are there posters up? up? Have, we Have we told everybody? Is there stuff, there stuff on the news about, about this? this? No, we, no, we haven't we told everybody. We're keeping it a little bit of a secret. But how will people know? How will people notice? Won't some people just walk straight past it? Well, well, some, some people, people will notice. Will notice. Oh, sure, sure, some people, some people will, be will be too distracted, distracted by other, by other stuff, stuff and they'll be and they'll distracted, distracted by all the other things, things going, going on and they'll, and they'll rush, rush past, past it, past but past some, some people, people will notice. notice. So what would it be like to notice? Well, the people that notice Jesus, they have this feeling like they are more brave because of the baby, that they're not so afraid because of the baby, that they have this awe and this wonder and this excitement inside them because of the baby. Sometimes they can't even explain that. Often they can't explain it. People who've noticed it know that there's something more, just not themselves, but there is joy and there is peace and there is togetherness and there is family and there is fellowship and there are tables that you invite everybody to and that there is a reason to fight for the justice of people who don't get treated well in life and to include everybody people who notice the baby king notice all of these things in their life it's like says one person who wrote in the bible much much later it's like jesus is a light that comes and shines in the darkness and when light shines in the darkness, it brings warmth and it makes things okay and we're attracted to it and it looks fantastic because everything has just changed because of the light. We'll take you now to Downing Street to hear an update on the latest restrictions. Our fight against the coronavirus is happening all across the country, in every home and in every community. Truly extraordinary efforts are underway, from care workers to thousands of volunteers delivering essential supplies and supporting their neighbours, sharing light this Christmas. Wow, what a good video, shine a light, a good message isn't it, at the end of what a year that we've had um, where a lot of us have struggled with the pandemic and all the restrictions and everything that's gone along with it and we can choose to shine an actual physical light in our windows, we might light a candle or put some fairy lights in there for our neighbours to see um, to shine that kind of bright physical light into our spaces but also we can choose to be the light can't we and um, we can choose to spread positivity and joy and hope and kindness and all those good things with our families with the people we're going to come across over Christmas and um, with our streets with our socially distanced neighbours and um, we can choose to be the light to people and um, be a real positive um, thing in our communities can't we brilliant 
We are so proud of you, gang, for what you've done this year. You have been amazing. You've coped with all that 2020 has thrown at you, and we're looking forward to 2021 being brilliant. And we know it's going to be brilliant because you're brilliant, and we know that you are showing grace and kindness and joy and hope wherever you go. So, thanks for joining us today. Tomorrow morning, jump on Zoom at 10 on the St. Mark's website you can get to it from there and show us any presents that you've got don't forget uh, go to sleep on time tonight otherwise nothing good happens you get on the naughty list uh, we'll see you then in the meantime team we love you we're proud of you have a fantastic happy Christmas mm-hmm. see you later The door for heaven is here, and all the angels sing. A child divine, the crown of the ages, come worship the newborn king. So lift a song and fill the streets with praise. Oh, celebrate our Savior on this joyful day. Come join the angels singing of his glory. This is Jesus, Emmanuel, our Lord. He is with us. Give praise forevermore. We will adore Him with heaven in our sight. Start the morning. We are found in His shining light. The Christ foretold by prophets of old has come. To dwell with us The young, the old Will tell of his hope And sing of his endless love The hope of all the world is here to stay The Son of God has come to make a way for us Let all the earth rejoice in awe and wonder This is Jesus Yes. Yeah.